that I was the first journalist who was willing to meet Dario Argento. And we became friends because uh, he knew the same things I knew, he loved the same things I loved in horror. He was uh, writing the Cato 90s at the time. And we started meeting each other, you know, going to the theaters together and things like that. The bird with the crystal plumage always a lot uh, to Frederick Brown, the screaming Mimi, the book. Uh, I was not there when he wrote it. I saw it as a viewer in the theater. And, uh, but he told me that the original project uh, came from a Bernardo Bertolucci idea. They worked together on Sergio Leone, uh, once upon a time in the West, Davio and Bernardo, they worked together on that. And they were friends. And, uh, and Davio told me that one day, uh, Bernardo Bertolucci gave him the book, The Screaming Mimi, and said, I would love to make a movie from this. Some time passed by, you know, Bertolucci did not make The Screaming Mimi. And, uh, and Davio did write The Bird with the Crystal Plumage. I suppose that the rights, he couldn't get the rights, you know, so transformed it in a completely different thing, which is, you know, it's, it's, it's different now, totally different. But they say that the original idea came from that, for sure. And one day he told me, Luigi, I want you to work with me on my new project, which is going to be called Four Flies on Grey Velvet. He only had the, the title and nothing else. And we started creating a story from, from the title. I worked for six, eight months with Dario writing that picture. It was a fantastic experience. And after that, Dario told me, uh, listen, Luigi, I'm going to do the movie in a short time. Will you be with me on the set? And I, of course, I said, yes, I want to be there. And, uh, and I started, work, started working as an assistant for him on that picture and went on, you know, from that. Four Flies is uh, filled with quotations from books and mostly are science fiction books. And that's me. Because uh, when Davio approached me, me with a title and told me, we got to build a story from this. And uh, after a while he told me, I would like to start the picture with the science uh, sequence, with the science uh, session, medium. With the medium in a theater which feels uh, a killer among the people attending the theater in front of, of the medium. And he said, there is a killer here, there is a killer here. But after that, the medium gets killed. And actually, this is deep red, you know, <laughs> this is deep red. Davio wanted to do four, start four flies with this. He had this very well in his mind. But uh, he put uh, one uh, rule. He did not want anything fantastic. So he said, uh, we must explain the logical reason why the medium says, I, I feel a killer in the audience, without telepathy. And this is where we failed. I mean, with Davio, we, we tried for months to find a, a way to explain this. But if you do not accept uh, ESP, ESP, you know, if you don't accept the telepathy, like he later did in Deep Red, you cannot explain that. Phenomena. Yeah, in phenomena, but at that time he absolutely did not want to mix with the fantastic. <laughs> Dario told me, let's, in the meanwhile, while we're looking for this solution, if you find good uh, scenes, murder scenes, proposed them to me. And so, practically what I did was looking for good murder scenes in movies and in the books. You understand? And so, I proposed to Davio several death scenes, people being killed from that movie, from that uh, book, uh, and, uh, and Davio selected the ones he likes and the one he, he said, no, this is not good, you know, and things like that. 
uh, and and after going on with this selection we had almost all of the murders already set we found them but we had no story <laughs> because the the beginning didn't work in the way that you wanted and that was uh, another guy who joined us later on uh, Mario Foglietti who who went to Davio one day with, this, with a proposal for a movie in which there was a, a, an unknown killer and between a husband and wife, and actually it was the wife uh, the unknown killer, you know. And he, Davio said, this is the idea, let's forget about uh, the medium, the science and all these things, let's do this. And so now we had the solution because from this, in this way it was easy. We just had the story of husband and wife and the wife actually is crazy and wants to, to kill her husband, to torture her. And in the middle of that we, are, we have all of the killings which we had already put up, you know. When I started working with Davio, he was not the top director in Italy at that time, but I started meeting with him when he was shooting Cardo Nine Tales and Cardo Nine Tales was being made because there, were, there was a deal between the distributor, uh, Davio's distributor and an American company, National General, because when the bird with the crystal plumage was released in America he made a lot of money. So the American asked for a new movie of that kind. We finished writing Four Flies, more or less at the same time that the Cato 98 opened it in the theaters in Italy. And uh, one good story to tell, many people don't know it, that uh, Lom Goffredo Lombardo Titanos hated Cato 98. When he saw the picture, finished picture, uh, he hated it. He said, uh, you got to re-edit it completely. And uh, I was witness to a big discussion between Dario's father, Dario, and the distributor. And the town, it was uh, mid-January, the town was already filled with posters of the picture ready to open in the theaters. And the distributor said, no, fuck with the poster, I don't release the picture. And he did not release the picture, the poster went crumbled and the picture didn't open and Davio and his father started fighting with the distributor because Davio refused to change a single frame of the picture and the distributor wanted to, to re-edit the world picture because he said it's a piece of trash and won't make a dime. And uh, the discussion lasted uh, for about 20 days, one month. At the end of, of this, uh, they quitted because Dario said uh, to Lombardo, fuck you. And, Lom and, uh, and the father said, you got to decide. We are not going to change the picture. If you want to release it, okay, the way it is, okay, you can, otherwise it's not going to open anywhere. And so Lombardo decided to open the picture, even if he ate it, to get rid of it, you know. But when the picture opened, it was a fantastic hit. From the first day, the picture opened it, and it opened in late February, with one month's delay because of these discussions, you know. The picture was a fantastic hit, number one in the box office, you know. And so uh, all of a sudden, Davio became number one here in Italy, you know, for, for the movies. So the, he had the project for Four Flies, which originally had been meant to go to Lombardo's Titanos. But this time he said, never again with Lombardo. And if, if, you, if you see, he never joined again with Lombardo till Phenomena, which was in the late, late 80s, because of the big fight they had over the Cardo Nine Tales. Yeah. And so all of a sudden, our story, which had already been made, everybody was offering a lot of money to get it. All the companies wanted the new Dario Argento movie and luckily the new Dario Argento movie was also being written by Nick. 